to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a Newfie puppy update and I have my um, little assistant here, Frank, um, and I also have treats in my hand to give to him. Come here, come over here, come here. Can you sit, 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 good boy. So, hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a Newfie puppy update. So I have my friend Frank here, he is currently six months old and we are going to film an update and talk all about our life together. So Frank is six months and he currently weighs 65 pounds, probably a little bit more now. And he is a Landseer Newfoundlander, which means that he is black and white. Um, he is a very good boy and he does love to be on camera and also to take pictures. I will insert a video of him getting mad at me yesterday because he wasn't in a picture with me. Frank? Frank? Do you want to get in the picture? You do? Then come over here. He's a very good boy. He loves to give kisses. Yes, he does. And he is definitely very motivated by food and treats. Yes. Um, so I just thought I would share a little bit about him and he just drooled all over my shirt. So Newfoundland dogs are known because they are huge droolers. He loves to drool, well he doesn't love to drool, he drools quite frequently because he has big jowls on the side of his face. Um, and yeah, he is very tall. He goes around to my hip. Um, and he is still very much a puppy. He loves to just get into anything that I'm into. And yeah, he's he's definitely quite interesting. Anyway, so we got him in the end of March of 2021. And now it is the end of July. So we've had him now for like three or four months. Um, and he really is a great boy. I have a bunch of tr uh, treats and uh, toys around us. So that's why he's walking around. Um, but yeah, he's such a good boy. Um, he really is a good puppy. He potty trained extremely quickly. I think it took us like less than a week to potty train him. Now he's sniffing my ponytail. Um, it took us less than a week to train him. Like he was so fast. They were extremely intelligent dogs and he was hasn't had an accident since. He does still sleep in the kennel at night. He has a big kennel in our kitchen that he sleeps in and he normally sleeps from like 10 to I don't know, five or 6 a.m. Um, but yeah, no, he's a great boy. And we do put him in the kennel when we are gone for the most part, except for when we're at the cottage, he can roam free um, just in our cottage, but we have to put all the food away. Um, but yeah, he is a really good boy. As you can tell, he's sitting right here uh, very quietly. He is very talkative as well. He loves when you talk to him, he'll kind of like talk back to you and like whine and all that kind of stuff. Um, but one thing about Lulu, uh, about, about Newfoundland dogs is that they're extremely loyal to their owners. So he definitely um, is loves to be around us all the time. If he's not around us, he'll try to find us. So he doesn't like to just sit outside by himself. He likes to be with someone all of the time, which I think is nice. He's definitely a pandemic dog as well because I work from home every day. He's with me most of the time, except for when I go out to eat or go to the gym or something, but he is with me all of the time. So he is quite attached to me. And if I'm somewhere, he'll come and enjoy me. So when I'm on conference calls for work, he'll come and sit in my office and just sit down and be so good. But he's a great dog to have um, while I'm working from home because he'll just come and just sit and he's so quiet. He normally doesn't bark um, during the work day. He likes to just come in and sleep or he'll come and sleep underneath the air conditioning that's right here. Um, but yeah, that's one tip. If you are gonna have a Newfoundland dog and you live in a warmer climate, I live in Canada, but still in the summer it's quite warm. You need to have air conditioning. <laughs> air conditioning or some sort of way to cool down your dog. Um, we also have a cottage, it doesn't have air conditioning, but we have a river and a water source that he goes and plays in. Um, but yeah, that's one tip. I would definitely say that you definitely need um, an air conditioner of some sort to keep them cool because they're so large and he has like multiple coats of fur. So it's just not fair to him to be 
um, too hot in the winter or in the summer. Um, but another thing is you never really shave a Newfoundland dog. He does, he doesn't go to the groomers yet just cause he's so little, but um, we brush him all the time, but you never shave a Newfoundland dog because that's how they cool themselves down with their coat. Right, Frank? Yeah. Cool them down with your coat, yes. Um, so that's one thing that you never do. Um, another thing is his behavior. As you can tell, he's a very sweet, docile dog. Even though he's trying to get the treats out of my hand, he is a very sweet dog and loves to just spend time with us. He does go on walks uh, normally every evening. Right now, it'd be more frequently, but um, it's the summertime, so it's too hot to walk him during the day or in the morning just because the pavement's too hot. But at nighttime, we often walk him just around our neighborhood. He doesn't he doesn't have a, a lot of energy, like not like a golden retriever or or like a husky or a German shepherd or anything like that. Um, but he does get to run and swim a lot on the weekends when we are at our cottage. So he does have a lot of exercise on those times. And then normally he is tired throughout the week, which is good because the tired puppy is a good puppy good boy okay he just laid down um another thing how much he eats so he normally eats two two cups and a quarter every meal so he in total he drink or he eats four and a half cups a day which is a lot of food and food is extremely expensive for large breed dogs because you have to get a special kind because you don't want them to like have issues and stuff down the road so we always feed him um, a really high quality food um, just so he has better health and stuff like that and you also have to be careful when you have Newfoundland dogs not to overfeed them because they are so large um, they do have histories of having like joint issues and stuff not like any other breed but just um, you have to be careful not to put extra pressure on them um, so we always make sure to keep our dog um, on the slimmer side obviously we don't like you know he eats enough to be healthy and stuff but we never want to overfeed him or feed him human food or anything like that because we want to keep him as healthy as possible um and yeah that's we did have a newfoundland dog before this and we did the same thing with him and he lived um a happy and healthy 11 and a half years so we're trying to do the same thing with frank um just so we can have him as healthy and happy as possible for as long as we can um but that is another thing with newfoundland dogs they normally live anywhere from 10 to I think 13 or 14 years. Our last Newfoundland dog, Norman, he lived till he was 11 and a half. My dad had a Newfoundland dog and I think it lived till 14. So it really just depends um, on the dog and you know, whatever happens with them. So yeah, that's that. He does, another question I get all the time is, does he like to snuggle? And our last Newfoundland dog did not like to snuggle at all. Frank is a huge snuggler, huge snuggler. Sometimes when he's misbehaving or, you know, trying to get your attention, all he needs is just a hug um, and he'll give you a kiss on the cheek like you saw earlier. He is a huge, huge, huge snuggler. He'll jump up on the couch and like just lay on top of you and he's just so sweet um, when he's in that kind of mood. Um, but he definitely likes to snuggle and just be by your side all of the time. He's a great companion dog. Um, yeah, and he's a great boy. Um, he is learning how to swim currently. So Newfoundland dogs are actually known and were bred for originally uh, water rescue. So in, on the coast of Newfoundland, they were popular with fishermen and different people like that. And uh, the Coast Guard, I think as well, um, because they can help save people in the water. Our last dog, Norman, was a huge swimmer. He loved to swim. Anytime we were in the water, water skiing, tubing, all that kind of stuff at our cottage, he was right next to us and often tried to save us and take us back to shore. Frank does not have those qualities as of yet, but he's still so young. So we are teaching him how to swim. I'll insert a clip of him <laughs> swimming with us last weekend. He wasn't that great, but um, <laughs> we're trying to teach him how to do that. So that is to come. Good boy, Frank. Are you swimming? Um, but we're trying to just get him comfortable and not scare him too much in, by the water. Um, toys, Frank loves toys. He literally has more toys than I ever did as a kid. He has this one here. Um, and he loves to play. He's constantly has toys around um, just to keep him busy and to keep him well behaved. Um, so we always try to um, keep him like well entertained with toys, especially during the summer when we can't take him on as many walks just because of the heat. Training, Frank, I mean, 
he's six months old so our training is kind of limited at this point but he is pretty good like he's definitely very much potty trained and has been for months um, we are trying to get the nipping and the little budding at our feet and stuff to a minimum but overall he is a really good dog he does eat the trim of our house sometimes so we are going to have to replace that um, but I think he just does that when he's bored uh, he doesn't eat shoes or anything like that he doesn't really eat anything else he does really enjoy paper so we have to keep like our receipts and like our documents um, like away from him because he will try to eat them like he's gone into my office before and I've like caught him trying to eat some of my like work paper books and stuff so um, we try to keep that to a minimum as well but overall he really is such a great dog if you are interested in Newfoundland dogs leave some comments down below I've had two in my life and they are like the best companion dogs you could ever ask for they are so well mine have been always so well behaved and just so sweet they're great on walks um, they're more of a lower energy dog and they're just like a best friend they're, I think they're commonly called as like the nanny um, So they're great with children for the most part um, Frank hasn't been around a lot of kids, but our last dog Norman was so fabulous with children um, But yeah, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I love Newfoundland dogs. They're I love all dogs But Newfoundland dogs are just have a special place in my heart um, Because they're just they're just the greatest companions to have and he has been such a um great addition especially because I'm working from home and I'm working by myself to have like a little companion next to me every day um, that I can spend time with and he's just such a great little addition and uh, yeah I'm so happy that he's here he's my best friend Are you my best friend Frank and he's just so sweet I'll show you what he's doing right now he's just laying on my leg so he's just sitting right next to me he could be anywhere in the whole house but he's right next to me here and uh, yeah, he's right on my leg, and he's such a sweet boy. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's kind of different, but I've been seeing that a lot of people have been watching my Newfoundland dog video, so I just wanted to give a little update on Frank and his six-month anniversary with being alive. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. My YouTube channel is growing and I'm so happy for that. And I'm going to be post posting more um, this summer. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Come over here. No, 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 come over here. Come here. Come over here. Come on, Frank. No, come sit right here. No. Yeah, I'm gonna get into it. Come over here. Come here. Come on. Come on, Frank. Come on. No, come over here. Come on. Bring it over here. Okay.